how we finished the league last year, um, we had to work on the defensive side of the, of the game that, that we were playing at the end uh, of the season. We've, we've made two, three signings uh, in the defensive area, which has, has pushed us on this summer. We started the summer early. Uh, I think pre-season started 12th of June, so we're back before anyone that we, that we know of, um, and it, it's it's paid off massively. The girls worked the socks off in pre-season in the training, and we had a full fixture schedule uh, of, of games every Sunday, uh, and it's yeah, it's it's proofs in the pudding, like you know, it's uh, it, it's come on leaps and bounds from last season. You're going into a cup game on Sunday, I believe. Is that a priority as well? Um, not at this stage, it's not, um, because the, the, the priority for us is, is going to be the league. But a, a healthy cup run would, would be great. Um, we've got a massive squad. I've got 20, 22 signed on. So, uh, you know, the, the, the early rounds of the, the County Cup um, could be an opportunity for us to play girls uh, and, and test a, a few other positions out for, for some girls, uh, which would be great and which we'll benefit from uh, as the season goes on as well. So with 22 players on the books, how do you rotate the squad then? Is there a lot of competitiveness at training? Um, there's, a, there's a great competitiveness at training, uh, more so this year. Um, I think a few of them, uh, we've got better numbers this year at each training session and obviously the girls are fighting for places. Um, so it's, it's a case if you don't train, then there's a there's likelihood you're not, not in the squad for the weekend. Talk to us about your background then in football. When did you become the manager of Curzon Ladies? Um, I took over last August, so I didn't have much time going into this last season to prepare much. The girls that I had were virtually the girls that I went with. You know, there, there was no real signings. I brought, I brought two girls with me from a previous club um, from over Berry Way, and it was like make do with what we've got and, and see where it goes, and that's what we did. And you're working alongside Mo. How does that work then? Because he coaches the under-18s as well, I believe. That's right, yeah. Mo's been a great addition. Um, obviously, I had Lauren at the side of me last year on the touchline. But to have Mo, uh, who's been at the club for a long time, uh, he knows the, the club very well um, and, and the way the club want to, uh, do th want, want to do things. And Mo's in a great position being the under-18s manager because we need a progression and a pathway for the girls to come up because... Every time I go watching matches now, there's young girls involved in every game. Um, so we, we need to keep a tab on that and we need to bring our own young girls through as well. So what are the aims and objectives this season then? After such a glittering start, is it to maintain your unbeaten run all the way through? Well, um, unfortunately, we've got Salford that have come into our league, Salford City Lionesses, so they're going to make it tough for anyone. Uh, I think their, their eyes are on promotion and only one gets promoted. So... Um, it, it's going to be a battle, but we, we've, you know, we've set our goals, uh, and then we said, as I do every season, by Christmas, we'll, we'll assess that goal, and, and if it if it needs to change, we'll change it. Um, so we're, we're doing exactly what I wanted, uh, and exactly how I expected. Possibly playing the ball around a little bit better than I expected in, in the last few games. So it's it's work in progress, but it's it's looking good. Uh, just to mention as well for Lauren the physio, she must play an instrumental part in the success. Oh, fantastic, fantastic! Um, just having her there, knowing that the girls are in in good working order, um, and if they pick up any knocks and niggles during a game, she's on the pitch straight away. Um, she she gives me an in-depth report um, of where the girls are in, in fitness-wise, and she does a fitness test at the beginning of the year. Um, and yeah, go, going forward, she's, she's a massive, massive help. We were confident at the start of the season that we'd get off to a good start. We were, um, a few previous seasons, we've got off to an all right start, but this year it's just been exceptional, so can't grumble at it, it's been superb. So what do you put that down to then? What's the magic ingredient, do you reckon? It's a mixture of a few things. We've got a good set of players, good management. We've got a decent backing behind us. It's just a lot of hard work that gone in. We started pre-season quite early, so that's helped massively. Dean was saying he's got 22 players to choose from. Does that make it a little bit more intense in training, knowing that you've got to fight for your position? Yeah, there's competition all over the pitch, so everyone knows that they've got to fight for the place. And looking at your career personally, uh, where have you been in the past and what are you hoping to achieve? 
I was at Curzon when I started off. Um, it was quite high up. At the time, they were in a league below the Arsenal and Liverpool and teams like that, and it's just sort of took a bit of a down. Just a bit of a bad period, but we're looking now to get back up to where we were. That's, that's the aim, that we want to get back up there with the best.